But by the time I'd done my leave insert, I was messing around with hard drugs. And instead of going down the traditional route of college, I ended up in 15 years of addiction. But it's never too late, because after that, at the age of 35, I went back to college. I've become a doctor of psychology and a neuroscientist. College was, was always out of sight for me. Like the bubble I lived in, in the area of Blanchestown, was a really challenging area to grow up in and people from my area just didn't go to college. And I remember when I was in a detox, in the detox center, coming out with 15 years of heroin addiction, I wrote it in my journal, like maybe I can go to college. And I was blown away by the psychologist that was there. I wanted to learn why was I so emotionally broken? How can I help other people that are in the same boat? Two years ago, I took on a group of young students in Killinarden Community School in Talla. These were students that were struggling, at-risk students. And the skills we worked on was around communication. It was around regulating your emotions. It was creating awareness of your thinking patterns, because it's only when you are aware of your thinking patterns and your belief systems that you can actually do something about them. If students get the results that they wanted, enjoy the reward, enjoy the work you've put in. And for the students that don't get the results that they wanted to get, maybe that is the best thing that ever happened to them. Adversity can be fuel for growth.